Here we go. Goodell. Come on. Just say it. Let's go! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Marvin Harrison, let's go! The next Larry Fitzgerald, let's go! Woo! All right, what's going on guys? TRL coming at you guys with a post draft thoughts video. And the other night, um, I didn't go live on my channel. I was with uh, Chicago Sports Talk Michael and I wasn't able to share it on my channel. So it is what it is. Um, would have been nice to share it on my channel, but still got my reactions off. Um, as you can see, you already saw my reaction before this video. So I'm uh, very excited uh, for the first two picks that we made. Although, you know, some of the second reaction wasn't really as promising, but um, you know, Cardinals absolutely dominated the first two picks in the draft in the first round the other night. Um, the fourth one was a no-brainer. We got Marvin Harrison Jr. Uh, it was a matter of when, not if. So I've been said that since the end of the season, since Prater missed that field goal against the Seahawks, um, which shout out to Matt Prater for doing that because it seems that like that's the reason we got him now. So um, we got MHJ. We got our star receiver. Um, let's uh, we'll, we'll see what he does in Arizona his rookie season now. Um, the second pick, I didn't really. Um, if you got you guys saw the reaction, I didn't really know how to feel about this pick, I was kind of confused on it at first. So, we took Darius Robinson over, um, over certain guys that I thought we were gonna get. Now, I'm gonna talk about the second and third round on what we should do. Uh, eventually later but as far as Darius Robinson goes I like the pick I do like the pick uh, his college stats are, are acceptable he finished the season strong last year so coming out of Missouri I think that this is a really good pick so I know my reaction says otherwise you know a lot of Cardinals fans probably think I didn't like that pick and at first I didn't because I thought we were going to go Kool-Aid or Nate Wiggins or something like that but I just feel like we need a like we need a secondary more than anything. I've seen our secondary get cooked so many times these past few years. We need a secondary. Now we also do need a pass rush, but I didn't think we were going to address that until today, until the second and third round. But we addressed it in the first round with the Texans pick that we got, and it's Darius Robinson. So. Um, I am happy with the pick. Monty Austin for it really addressed the needs that we that we had to address in the first round. Uh, we got our star weapon, and we finally got a receiver that's freaking over five feet tall, or that's over six feet tall. So it's like, I'm glad we finally got that. Marvin Harrison, a very explosive receiver. Um, I can't wait to see him play in Arizona. It's going to be beautiful. And Darius Robinson, we... we like I said, we need a pass rush. There was one point in the season last year where we didn't have a sack for like the last four or five games. So it's about time we get a solid pass rusher to pair up. Now, today, today for the second and third round, I think we have um, we have one pick in the second round and I think two or three in the third. So someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. But for the second round, we're picking at 35. We have to stick to the defense on this draft pick. Now, the only exception I would have if we go offense is another wide receiver because while I like Greg Dortch, I don't really think he's a wide receiver too. We still got Michael Wilson, but he's going into his second year, so we don't really we don't really know. For Michael Wilson, it's kind of iffy for me, but I mean, we'll see what he does in his second year. I still feel like we could use another receiver whether it's Troy Franklin, Johnny Wilson, Keon Coleman, or I don't think we're going to get a Donnie Mitchell. I feel like Buffalo is going to get him um, before us. So there's still some receivers that we could use in the draft. We don't really need to do it until the third round, though. So for this second pick, I would stick to three guys. Kool-Aid McKinstry, uh, Cooper DeJean, or DeJean, however the fuck you say his name, and... Um, fuck's his name i'm forgetting i'm forgetting some oh johnny newton johnny newton 
So Johnny Newton, Kool-Aid McKinstry, and Cooper Dijon. Those are the guys that I wouldn't mind the Cardinals taking at 35. So if I had to say who do I want out of all three, probably Kool-Aid just because we, we, we don't have a secondary guy yet and we need to get one. So I would take Kool-Aid at 35. That would probably be my best choice. Um, I don't... Part of me still doesn't think Cooper DeJean would be good on this team, but it's an acceptable pick that I would not mind. And Johnny Newton wouldn't mind that either. So DeJean I'm kind of iffy about, but I wouldn't mind us taking him. And then you got Newton and Kool-Aid that I would really want. So let's hope the Cardinals get one of those three guys with the 35th pick. And in the third round, in the, in the third round, honestly, I wouldn't mind taking a running back, even though James Conner had a really good year. I can't trust his health. I still can't trust his health. So I wouldn't mind taking Blake Corum if he's still available. So that's kind of a sleeper pick that I would throw in there uh, for today is Blake Corum. So, but for the third round, we have quite a few picks. So we can go offense, defense in there. It doesn't matter depending on what Monty's thinking. Uh, but as we all say, let Monty cook. Monty's cooking so far in his GM tenure as a Cardinal, uh, as the Cardinals GM. So I trust Monty Austin for it to do well today. And tomorrow as well. So this was a, this look. This is looking like a really good draft for the Cardinals. So I'm really pumped. Um, today was a yesterday was a great day to be a Cardinals fan. Let's see if we keep it going today. So let me know what you guys think. Who do you think the Cardinals are going to get today? And what are your guys' thoughts on the first two picks that the Cardinals made in the 2024 NFL Draft? Let me know. But uh, I like what I'm seeing. Let's keep it going. But let's hope for a good night for the draft today. And we're out.